why are preppers scared of horses? I did a YouTube search on bug out horse, horses for prepping. You know what I found? Nothing. Nada. What is it? Why are preppers afraid of horses? Look. Come here. Get over here in the camera. Come on. Come on. Up. Over here. There's the camera right there. This is this is Goldie. Or Blondie. Or whatever her name is. Let me get the flies off your face there. See? Why are preppers scared of this? Now this one here is broke. She's nine year old. She's for sale too if anybody wants her. And she's pregnant. <laughs> but why is everybody scared of you? You don't know? Say, I don't know. I don't know. But there's the camera right there. Over there, see yourself? Why are people scared of horses? They pull plows. They carry our fat asses around. Uh, they can pull a wagon. So, I mean, this is the most overlooked emergency preparedness item on all of YouTube. You agree, don't you? Yep. Yep. She agrees. Of all the videos on YouTube, nobody in the prepping community talks about horses. See, when I started talking about prepping, I just started talking about the old ways we used to do things. That's it. Just just doing the old ways. Now, I didn't have a horse at the time to, to talk. Otherwise, I would have added that in there. Canning, dehydrating, preserving foods, slaughtering animals. Oh, you didn't like that, huh? Yes, but you can eat one of these. But they're more valuable as a work animal. A, burst, a beast of burden. Oh, you didn't like that, did you? You didn't like the burden part. Here, hey, that fly bothering you? Let me get that fly. The flies are bothering her out here. But anyway, that's why, YouTube, I'm wondering. Now, here's a question for you in the comments. Would it be worth my time and effort to put together horse prepping kits? In other words, what I would do is get two horses that are broke, completely outfit them, you know, with a saddle, bridle. The second horse would be set up with a pack, uh, you know, pack and everything for bugging out. So you'd have two horses that you could, uh, one would be carry freight, like the freight hauler, and the other one would be for you to ride. Completely set everything up, have them trained, and you buy them, and it, they would have to go for at least for two horses that are that well trained. Somewhere in the neighborhood of $10,000 by the time you add the saddles and the packs and the shots and the, the horse shoeing and all like that. So you'd get two horses completely outfitted, ready to go for ten grand. Now, if you wanted two horses and a wagon, uh, you may want to add a couple of thousand dollars. Of course, instead of a, a pack horse, you would have a horse to pull a wagon. Now, if you just want one horse and a wagon, you're still looking at around $8,000, one that's trained. I'm, I'm not talking about one you have to take home and do any training to. I'm talking about horse, prepping horses ready to go, ready for you. You buy them, and they're ready to go. Now, you have to keep them trained after you get them, but when you get them, they would already be trained, they would be broke, they would come with saddle, like I say, saddles, tack, everything you need, ready to go. Now this one right here, you can have her without no saddles and tack for 1200 bucks. You don't like that, do you? I already got you treating you. Yeah. You can have this blonde. Hey, everybody likes blondes, don't they? Look at that. A little blonde horse. She's about 15, 15 and a half hands high.
got that trimmer hooves up a little bit. She is pregnant, and she's a registered Tennessee walking horse. So uh, there you go, folks. See you later.